Facebook, my Instagram, my Snapchat, and welcome back to another live program video. Today, I am going to tackle a question that I guess could have tackled months ago, but I just forgot. This person, uh, Davoklu, I don't know how to say that, but this person bumped this post, um, and I was reminded of my own comment on July the 15th that this is a regression and that we would fix it. So let's take a, a quick look at the bug. Uh, I think this is this is Kevin Wu. Kevin Wu says, uh, Como Revy C start no longer works with no arguments. Uh, it looks like Como Revy tries to execute this but this is not valid PowerShell since argument list must have a value. I assume it was introduced in this commit, uh, which is a big static JSON commit. Uh, yeah, there's a big refactor and basically this got missed. And I was supposed to fix this, as I say, some time ago, but I didn't. So I thought we could quickly fix this one together. So we are going to go to start again. We're spending a lot of time here lately. Uh, let's just get bacon running on the side. Okay. So we want to look at the implementation for start, which is here. And Somewhere, 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 there is an argument list. So, we're gonna, we're gonna do something here, right? So, if flags is empty, don't pass argument list. That's, I think that's basically what this boils down to. So, We can probably do this here. This is one of the really nice things about being open, being able to open up a scope in Rust like this, because uh, the scope, it has to return something, something or nothing. It has to return, basically. So I can do if flags is empty, otherwise, right? So this is the otherwise, right? And flags is empty. We don't care about argument list. And here, we don't really need that anymore, do we? We can just bring it into the scope. do it. Oh, wow. This might be on track to be the quickest bug fix video in the history of all the dev videos. All right, so we're just going to install this real quick. It's, oh, it, it did load a configuration. I'm not sure which configuration it loaded, uh, but it did load a configuration. Um, cool. I'm happy with that. Um, so I do, and now I want to know what configuration it loaded. Um, I think it loaded the PowerShell configuration. PS one Yes, that is my old PowerShell configuration that got loaded. I have since skipped to using the 
the static configuration file, which I actually just keep in my home folder now, which is here. So cool, I think we can finally belatedly uh, close this ticket. Sorry it took so long, Kevin. Uh, but thank you to uh, this user for bumping. And actually, I should reply to this user, right? Uh, running the above command does respect the environment variables, the config environment variable environment variable as this is looked up once comma revy has started not during the powershell command execution i'm actually working on a fix for this regression as we speak Sweat smiley. Oh, wrong sweat smiley. Uh, sweat smile. That's the one. Uh, cool. So we'll hit that. Nice. Uh, so actually, let's do this in here. That's our little fix. And we can craft a commit message. So this is going to be a fix for the CLI, fix CLI, uh, remedy regression and start command. This commit remedies a regression noticed by user not kvw um, in 4.9.3 which results in PC start failing due to an empty document list being passed to the PowerShell start process command. I believe that's right. Yes. This has been fixed by ensuring that the argument list is only passed when um, the user has specified flags on the start command. Uh, no, it does affect an open issue and it's going to fix 493, right? 493. Cool. Let's make that pretty. It's nice, nice, nice. Stuck so long, it will be it and now it will be in the next version, the next release. Okay. Days work very nice. So before we end off, as a tradition. I would like to give a shout out to the sponsors. So a huge, huge thank you to Betchy, Maxwell, Brady, Solomon, Alex, Julian, and Esayuki. I really, really appreciate your support. If you too would like to sponsor the project, you can head on over to the sponsor page. There is a button here. There is also a button up top here. You go ahead and you click and then you can select a tier. Even if you sponsor for $1 a month, it makes a huge difference to me and I appreciate it a great deal. If however, you are not in a position to become a sponsor, the next best thing that you can do is hit subscribe 
on the YouTube channel. So right now we have 459 subscribers. We have a whole bunch of Como Revy tutorial videos here. And of course, this big playlist in which you can learn, um, hopefully a great deal. I hope that people learn a great deal from watching these Como Revy development videos. So yeah, go ahead and do that. Hopefully we'll get to the first tier, which is 500 users pretty soon. And then the next tier after that will be a thousand users where I will be able to join the YouTube partner program, which is what allows creators to start receiving a cut of the ad revenue. All right, that is it for this video. I hope that whatever you do today, you have a great day and I hope to see you all back here next time. Goodbye for now.